Hello everyone, this is Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker. Illinois stands proudly as a global, commercial, and scientific powerhouse. And I'm proud that our diverse and highly educated workforce and pioneering research have landed us at the forefront of the new wave of quantum technology. Our top tier academic institutions and national labs recognized quantum's potential to transform our society. Our state saw an opportunity early on to make ourselves an international hub for quantum development. So in 2019, we committed $200 million to build a state-of-the-art facility for quantum at the University of Chicago and to bring University of Illinois in as a partner. Since then, the research in Illinois has made incredible strides and we've become a destination for quantum and AI companies and provided incentives for even more companies to come here. An additional $500 million has been allocated by the state to establish the Illinois Quantum and Microelectronics Park. At the IQMP, we'll propel the research, adoption, and commercialization of quantum tech alongside our strongest collaborators, such as SciQuantum, IBM, the National Quantum and Algorithm Center, and the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. We've even created the role of chief quantum officer for the state, a strategic move to scale our quantum ecosystem with the state's economic development organization, Intersect Illinois. This work is crucial as we continue expanding the exceptional opportunities our state offers to businesses, innovators, and entrepreneurs. In just the last few years, and over the next few as well, we will have set our sights on becoming the global quantum tech hub of the United States. Illinois has long been a powerhouse in science and technologies. Many of the technologies we take for granted today that have completely changed society, things like semiconductors, lasers, were built on seeds that grew here. Illinois has created a whole suite of incentives that are directed towards next-gen technologies like quantum, AI, microelectronics, with the intention of really helping those really smart, resourceful entrepreneurs. Let's give them a leg up. We're building infrastructure that doesn't exist anywhere, like at the IQMP. What Illinois wants to do is to advance these industries and also base it on activities that bring economic benefit to us and help us to create more amazing technologies that can have impact on the world. Well, the Illinois Quantum and Microelectronics Park is a first of its kind devoted to scale up of quantum computing technology. Understanding that there's a need for some large infrastructure and the need to bring together companies and researchers, universities, national labs in a physical space as a place to scale up out of the research labs and bring some of this technology into commercial relevance where it can have an impact. There's really a whole range of resources that we provide, ranging from physical infrastructure, access to power and cooling. We offer access to talent and to the workforce that they're gonna need. The DARPA Illinois Quantum Proving Ground is the joint program between DARPA and the state of Illinois that will be operated and run at the Illinois Quantum and Microelectronics Park. As DARPA does their work in their new program, which is known as the Quantum Benchmarking Initiative, they will bring companies to the physical space. Companies will build and set up and commission their prototype machines. And DARPA will assign teams of scientists and engineers to test the prototypes and determine whether it meets certain benchmarks and whether it can be validated and whether it can be replicated and so on. We've already been collaborating with DARPA and then we also expect that startups and university groups and so on will also come to the site. And that's really important for us as a company that's doing things on the cutting edge. So Fermilab, Argonne, all of the universities and so on, we're really excited to establish those collaborations. A little over a decade ago, in 2013, the University of Chicago doubled down and decided to build the first quantum science engineering program in the nation. And that meant building buildings. They launched the first PhD program. 
in quantum science and engineering in the United States. And they also appreciated that it would be very hard to do this alone. So they decided in 2017 to build the Chicago Quantum Exchange, which was a way for industry, national labs, and universities to work really closely together. So today we have over 55 partners, companies, nonprofits, national laboratories, all working together to move this field forward. So one of the exciting things about technology development is that a lot of it comes from startup companies. Duality is the first quantum accelerator in the nation, focusing specifically on quantum startups. A long research development time, dealing with venture capital, and also having ways to critique your business model. Duality puts that all together in a package, offering opportunities for people from around the world to come to Illinois and build your company here. At the end of the day, these advances are driven by talent. And between the University of Chicago, University of Illinois, Northwestern, Wisconsin, Purdue, you have a wealth of talent coming out in the critical fields for this area. Just access to experts in all different spaces has been really critical to driving my research forward. I know that I can talk to an experimentalist, I can talk to a theorist, and that's really, really helpful just because at this current moment in quantum, we need to very much adopt a multidisciplinary approach. We've had a really strong history of doing research that leads to new materials, and that feeds into quantum science for building better quantum computers, for doing quantum communication sensing. Under the National Quantum Initiative, 10 quantum research centers were funded, and four of those are based in Illinois. Across the board, we're doing research that impacts quantum computing, communications, and sensing, both in theory and experiments, hardware and software. Illinois having the two powerhouses with Fermilab and Argonne has created an unparalleled ecosystem for Illinois. Fermilab is more focused on applied research, whereas Argonne, on the other hand, is really good at material science and computing, given the fact that they have a high-performance computer on site. So Fermilab's focus is more on systems engineering, and that complements Argonne's focus on material science. At IBM, we've been investing in research with many national partners in the state of Illinois. We've been working with UIUC, University of Chicago, and the national labs to bring quantum computing to the world. The National Algorithm Center is bringing together University of Chicago, UIUC, as well as many other entities in Illinois with IBM to work on algorithms to actually show that we can take these quantum computers and solve interesting problems. Whoever discovers these new algorithms gets to quantum advantage first, will have a stepping stone for bringing useful quantum computing to the world. When you come to Illinois, you gain a family that is statewide and national and global. If you are talking to somebody and mention that you need someone, they will go ahead and connect you to other people, other agencies, other institutions who will help you. And this culture comes from the governor on down to make sure that we can grow industries. One of the most important things to drive success in science and technology is the workforce. I mean, companies come for the people. And one of the nice things that we're doing here is developing new ways of educating students, internship programs with companies, bringing community college students early into startups here in Chicago, exposing them to broader career opportunities. Seeing a company set up a new facility next door so they can supply the hardware that has to be built, or seeing a, a company locate with us so they can help us build training programs. I think there are a lot of ways that this can be an engine for prosperity. The resources, the infrastructure to be able to do science and tech, more and more we're attracting investors. We've had a long history of industry engagement. There are very few places you can find all of these ingredients in one place.